Yeah! Yeah, it's me! Ah, and, yeah, I've got a t-shirt on. It's fucking wet. It's about to rain again, isn't it? People are looking up. If you're about to get crushed, if it rains, people will shove in. And it's heartbreaking when someone walks out when it's fucking pissing it down as well. I would rather wander around in the pissing wet than listen to another second of your moaning shit. I'm slightly happier when it rains, because at least when it rains, the fun is like a bonus. But when it's sunny, I hate the summer, because it's just... It's like when you go out with someone who's clearly better than you. And it's exhausting, and you have to pretend you like going to things. And then they dump you, and you're a bit happy, and you think, ha ha, now I can get shit-faced. All I ever wanted to do was sit in all day and eat pot noodles and cry. Joe. Loving it. Bit of Joe, bit of funky worm. Yeah. Making my job harder. How we doing? We good? Yeah. It's a shame the rain stopped uh, uh, for me, anyway. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Comedy always seems a little bit better when everything's a bit shit for everyone else. You know? I don't know why. Hackney! Yeah. What's going on? You alright? Yeah. Yeah. Love this bar. It's like a hometown gig for me. I live up the road. Hackney. It's, it's, it's got a brilliant London, that traditional London duality, hasn't it, Hackney? It's got that, that kind of bohemian loveliness, like what you lot are bringing to the table today. And it's got that, that slightly tastier, seedier, darker underbelly. Some of the rougher areas. You know the type of areas estate agents they might describe to you as vibrant. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Always, I'm always reminded of, of, of Halloween. 2010, man, because I was, out, I was out having a drink in Clapton, which that was, that was a mistake to, to, to start with, right? <laughs> Trick or treated in the street, which to me is unacceptable. I, was, I, I come out of a boozer, right? These two little kids come out and say, Trick or treat, hey, trick or treat, yeah? <laughs> trick or treat, man, trick or treat. Trick or treat. And what? Trick or treat, trick or treat. <laughs> you know, co costumes designed exclusively by JD Sports, right? Trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat. <laughs> and, and me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a diplomat in these situations, you know, because you know, that's just, just the way I am. I, I also, you know, I don't, I don't like getting stabbed, so, you know, so I, I was like, I was like, hold on, where are your costumes? Do you know what I mean? Where, you, haven't even, you haven't even got masks on. Like, nah, chicka cheat, innit? Chicka cheat. I'm like, okay, look, hold on, right? I'm leaving a, a boozer. I'm leaving a, a, a drinking establishment at half eleven in the evening. It's Halloween, Saturday night. I, I don't have any sweets on my person. Right? The little one looked at me and goes, No, I just want money, innit? Just want money. <laughs> money. I said, like, Well, this is, this is not trick or treat, is it? Strictly speaking, this is a mugging. That's what this is. <laughs> yeah, outrageous. <laughs> oh, man. But for, for, we, we, having a, we, having a, we having a good this festival. Is, Google me, Google me, right? <laughs> but listen, when, you, when, you, when you hear this, bing, that's where the rhyme's gonna go, and you're gonna deliver that rhyme. I'm not gonna tell you what to say. You have to work it out via my power of persuasion, right? It'll be like half Darren Brown, half Snoop Dogg. Right? Yeah, Darren, Darren, Darren Doggy Dog, okay? So check this, I'll point at you to remind you it's coming, all right? Check this out. We'll give it a bash, here we go. All right, you're gonna say what hype men say, so watch how I point at you. You tell me my name is Doc. Not bad, but let's be honest, it wasn't great. Some of you were kind of early and somewhat. Do you know for you that's really on the ball will get it fast? And anyone not playing at all can kiss my oh. See rhyming could be easy as one, two hey. Or anti-disestablishmentarianism hey. I know why I can teach you this Cause being a hype man is such a piece of hey. Filling the blanks, money in the oh. And spanking the monkey is slang for having a oh. Oh, yeah. Thanks for lowering the tone Let's the potty mouth here, this is a family show Oh you hype men, they're all the same Ironic, got a big head but a small that you can't finish my next yes. Alright, fuck you look. Can you cope with a full-blown rap anecdote, right? True story for you, right? There we go. I toured with a group called Daylight When I was about 23 years I smoked a lot of weed and I drank till I cried See, half the flipping time I was way too In my hotel room Post-show B.O. was overpowering So I took a shower and before I got dressed, I had to apply some eczema cream to a patch on my ah. So I'm sat on the bed rubbing away, just mulling over the events of the day. It walks the cleaner, she screams. I was so frightened, I did a tiny bit of Yeah. Then she runs out saying something Spanish, man. It sounded like Now I panic that she's left out of 
here, so I run out after a shout and I'm not a weirdo. Now I've exposed my penis twice. Cleaners screaming, Jesus. How it ended, not so well. That very day I had to swap. But thanks for filling the blanks for me. Somehow makes it easier to tell that story. So you hype me up, you done well. That's the job Apple caught in a nut. You see, it really is as simple as that. So when I say thanks for listening, you clap. Ready?